No matter where you live in Scottsdale, every neighborhood has concerns about traffic. It's not just a safety issue either, it's a quality of life issue too. The City of Scottsdale has a long history of implementing creative and innovative transportation measures from lagging left turn signals to the original Focus on Safety Photo Enforcement Program to rubberized asphalt to freeway photo enforcement. For the past few years, Scottsdale's Transportation Department has been working with neighborhoods throughout the city to address traffic concerns on a case-by-case -case basis. The city can use modern roundabouts to help smooth traffic flow while reducing the amount of traffic and the speed of cars traveling on residential streets. Since the mid-1980s, Scottsdale has been using circular intersections and roundabouts. Traffic circles have been used by the city since the late 1980s and are different than a roundabout. Modern roundabouts are a specific type of circular intersection that controls traffic movements. Instead of stopping traffic needlessly, Roundabouts create a right-of-way by requiring traffic to slow down and yield. Because of their success in slowing traffic while maintaining flow, roundabouts have been used as successful traffic calming measures. One of the early roundabouts in Scottsdale is located at Princess Drive and Princess Boulevard. Roundabouts in general are new to western states. If roundabouts are designed correctly, they can reduce traffic accidents and improve traffic flow. Residential roundabouts are much different than roundabouts that are located on arterial streets or at freeway interchanges. While the concepts are similar, residential roundabouts are much simpler and less congested, and when designed correctly, can reduce traffic accidents by as much as 75%. An experience shows that they are much safer and more effective than either a traffic signal or four-way stops in most cases. Residential roundabouts are also quieter and more environmentally friendly since cars are not stopping, starting, or idling, waiting for a signal change or another vehicle to pass through a four-way or two-way stop. In fact, once a roundabout is installed in a neighborhood, we're told that the majority of residents are pleased with the design and the improvements they made to the area. Here's how the modern roundabout works. As you approach a roundabout, slow down and look to your left for other cars, pedestrians, or bicycles. You must yield to vehicles already in the roundabout. Remember, pedestrians always have the right of way in a crosswalk. Wait for a break in traffic and then proceed into the acceptable traffic gap within the roundabout. You should always enter the roundabout to the right. Continue through the roundabout until you reach your street. Use your turn signal and exit the street to the right, again yielding to pedestrians in the crosswalk. You should avoid stopping in a roundabout if at all possible. One of the most common questions Scott still gets about roundabouts is if they can accommodate large vehicles like horse trailers, RVs, school buses, and emergency vehicles. Well, the simple answer is yes, they can. If you happen to be in a roundabout as an emergency vehicle enters, the same laws still apply as when you are on the road. You'll need to stay to the right to let the emergency vehicle pass, even if it means having the fire truck drive over the drivable curb or apron around the central island of the roundabout. The truck apron in a roundabout is designed specifically for large vehicles to drive over or maneuver through the roundabout. The components of a roundabout include a splitter island pedestrian refuge, a truck apron, a center feature, outer circle, and inner circle. To show just how easy it is for any type of large vehicle to maneuver through a roundabout, take a look at these examples. So if these big vehicles can navigate a roundabout, so can bicycles and pedestrians. Roundabouts work well for pedestrians since traffic is much slower and you cross one direction of traffic at a time. If you need to walk through a roundabout, it's important that you use the crosswalks at the splitter islands and do not use the central island. Remember, pedestrians have the right of way as long as they're in the crosswalk. Bicycles also work well through a roundabout. Drivers should always be respectful of bicycles proceeding through the roundabout. As you can see, roundabouts are an efficient tool to help traffic flow more smoothly through the city of Scottsdale and it can also be used to slow traffic as appropriate. 